What's up guys, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're going to make a steel skill. So a little preface, this isn't the best way to make a steel skill, um, and it's, but it does what I need it to do. And uh, it's a little bit more complicated than some of the, the tutorials I've given, but I'll walk you through step by step, there shouldn't be any problem for uh, any skill level to, to do um, there, there are limitations to this system that I put together. You can only have uh, one item stolen uh, per encounter, not per enemy. So, or actually, you can have multiple items uh, in the loop, uh, the chance to steal, but you can only get one of those items. So, I'll show you. In a minute. So, to start off, I'm actually going to um, just show you the system really quickly. So, when you try to steal, if you fail, you have enough. You can keep trying. But we got it on the first try, so you have a fire shard. If you try to steal after you already got the item, then um, it'll stay failed because you can only get one item. So at this point, you could either kill him or run away, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to run away. And I just want to show you another one really quickly. And I got a top. Run away. I'm trying to get it so that you can see how it's going to It's got a 50% chance to fail and a 25% chance to get a weak item, a 25% chance to get a little bit better item. So the odds are that you're going to fail to steal, or you fail to steal an item. So when that happens, you can just keep it right. And I'll show you that. But you guys saw the other two outcomes, so that's exactly all uh, things that the script can do. <clears throat> Let's go to our database. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a common event. So we'll go to a new a slot, change maximum if you have to, and call it steel skill call or something like that that you'll remember. You're going to control variables. You're going to um, right, right click, insert new, control variables, and then you're going to create a new variable uh, and call it pilfer roll or steel roll or something with roll in it like cinnamon roll or something and then you're gonna set that to random one through four and you can change these numbers later and that's gonna change the percent chance that you get the items but the higher the numbers with this system the more convoluted it gets so I've chosen a, a one through four system just to make it really simple and then you run underneath that you're gonna right right click insert new and you're gonna control switches and then you're going to create a new switch. Oops, sorry about that. We're going to create a new switch and we're going to call that switch um, steel attempt. And we're going to turn steel attempt on. Now we're going to go to skills. We're going to create a new skill called steel or pilfer or something like that. We're going to inform the player that you can only steal one item per battle. Um, you're going to select whatever skill type you want it to be. I'm actually going to make a gambler class with a different skill set. This is just a placeholder for now. Give it whatever MP, TP cost you want. Select the scope for all enemies since it's per encounter, not per enemy. Uh, Occasion is going to be battle screen. And then the, the real thing that you got to do is go to effects, right click, edit, go over to other, common event. And you want to call on that common event we just created, the steel skill call. Uh, everything else can be left as default except for maybe the message you might want to say space tries to steal instead of like uses steals kind of casts steal I don't know it sounds funny just tries to works uh, I think it works better then we want to go to classes and we want to award that skill that we just created to one of our classes so in my case I'm going to add a gambler um, but I'll do that in the next video so for right now, I've just added it to my Ronin class at level 1. And then once you've done that, we're going to hit Apply. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to create a new event. And this event is going to be a parallel process. Um, you're going to control switches. You're, basically, all it does is it runs in the background. And this event, you're going to have to copy and paste it to every map that there's going to be battles in. But it's really easy. You just right-click, insert, control switches and then that control switch you're gonna create a new switch called already stole item and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn that off so at the end of battle even if they stole an item we want them to be able to steal an item in the next battle so we turn that off 
and just set that trigger to parallel process. Apply OK that. And then you can copy paste this to all your other maps that you want to uh, include battles in. That, that you can even have maps that where they, can, they can't steal because they're, they'll be able to steal one item and then they can't steal anymore. So you can rig the game to have it to where they can't steal from certain areas. <clears throat> then we're going to go back to the database. And we're going to go to our troops. This is where the real meat of the program is. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to conditions and you're going to select uh, switch and then you're going to select the steal attempt switch. You're going to go over to span. You're going to change that to moment. Then you're going to right click and then you're, you're going to insert a conditional branch. And that, uh, that conditional statement is going to be a switch and it's going to be already stole item switch is on we're going to create an else branch. Underneath that already stole item is on, we're going to right click insert new text and we're going to say failed because the enemy has no items. Then underneath that we're going to right click insert control switches and we're going to select steal attempt off. And then we're going to move down to the else handler. Underneath the else handler we're going to right click and we're going to insert text and say you try to steal from your target or your mark or your opponent or whatever you want. And then underneath that, we're going to right click insert conditional branch. And that conditional branch is going to be based on a variable. So that pilfer role that we created in our common event, we're going to select that and we're going to select equals to a constant of three. And then we're going to hit OK. We don't need an else branch here. So underneath that conditional statement, we're going to insert text saying you stole a item one, whatever I you want that first item to be and you can change this item per each encounter. Then you're going to control switches. I'm sorry about that, we went down. So after you uh, say you you insert the text and say you stole whatever your first item was, a tonic in my case, you're going to award that item to the player. So you're going to right click, insert, uh, change items, and then award that item to the player. And then you're going to control switches. And you're going to turn uh, the already stole item switch right click insert new control switches uh, already stole item on then you're gonna go down underneath the end you're gonna right click insert control branch uh, conditional branch rather and you're gonna select a variable for that one as well you're gonna also select pill for roll equal to instead of three this time we're gonna put it to four you're gonna insert um, a text saying you stole whatever you want your item two to be in this case a fire shard then you're going to right click insert change items to the item 2 that you want to award the player then you're going to right click you're going to control switches already stole item on moving down you're going to right click and you're going to do the same thing insert a conditional branch and this time we're going to set this to pill for roll less than or equals to that's the symbol that it looks like right there less than or equals to a constant of 2 then we're going to insert text saying you failed to steal an item then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. We're going to control switches, right click, insert uh, control switches, and we're going to turn steal attempt off. We're going to hit apply. And uh, I think that's about it. That's all you really need to do. <clears throat> so you would, if you wanted to, to, and I know that seems like a lot of work, but from this point on, once you have it set up, you can copy paste it. There's even a script that Yanfly has, a plugin rather, where you can set it up on one and then have it mimicked on all of your, uh, all of your troops. So there's a script that will mimic this. The only thing that's different about this system and why I don't want to use that plugin is because I want to specify in this battle you have a chance to get this, in this battle you have a chance to get different items, in this battle the percentages will be different, and stuff like that. So yeah, this will work. We'll hit OK, and I'll show you guys that one more time. As far as uh, selecting middle for the text, you can put it on the top, middle, bottom, doesn't matter. You can have transparent, you can have it a window, you can have it the, the dim background. I just did it this way because I think it's... I don't have to look up or down, it's right in the middle there. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys uh, like this tutorial. Um, there's, like I said, this is the end-all, be-all way to do it. This is just a simple steal, not the tonic, a 
simple steel system that worked for what I needed to do. So um, thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to be updated on uh, the new tutorials that I put out. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.